Give that wretch his money, and release me from the sight of him. My lady, we must face this distressing calamity. Now, some unbearable anxiety over the diamond drove Rosanna to her own destruction. I don't know what that anxiety was, but with your permission, I think I can lay my hands on the person who does. You suspect my daughter of stealing her own diamond? Is that true? Quite true, my lady. Your knowledge of her character dates from a day or two since. My knowledge of her dates from the beginning of her life. Young ladies often have private debts, which they don't acknowledge, sometimes for purposes which I won't shock you by mentioning. Bear this in mind, and look at recent events. Miss Verinder betrays an illogical resentment against anyone who has tried to recover her lost jewel. She declines to be questioned. When I suggest examining her wardrobe, she refuses point blank. If she is not privy to the suppression of the diamond, what do these things mean? I suspect you're about to tell us, Sergeant. Well, I wondered. Would Miss Verinder be satisfied with letting us all think the diamond was merely lost? Or would she go a step further and make us all think it had been stolen? Enter Rosanna Spearman, a former thief, the perfect person to lead us off on a false scent. No. She left that life behind her. You cannot escape your past. Who else could help Miss Verinder sell the diamond? No young lady in her position could handle such a risky matter on her own. She must have a go-between. And who so fit as Rosanna? She had relations with one of the only moneylenders in London who would handle such a notable jewel. Now, I'm sorry to spring this on you in this way, but it was my hope a great shock would hurry Miss Verinder's better feelings into making a clean breast of it. You hear me, Sergeant. For I will only say this once. I owe no money to any living creature. I have never spoken a word in private to Rosanna, and the diamond has not been in my possession since my birthday. With all respect, miss, the evidence suggests otherwise. The day will come when you will know why I am silent, even to you. I have done much to make my mother pity me, but nothing to make her ashamed of me. Sergeant, in resigning all further claim on your services, I have only to say that while I would like to believe in your honesty and intelligence, I am firmly persuaded that the circumstances in this case have fatally misled you. 